हेलो स्टूडेंट गुड मॉर्निंग आई एम डॉक्टर अजय कुमार सिन्हा प्रोफेसर ऑफ केमिस्ट्री टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू डिस्कस सम न्यूमेरिकल्स बेस्ड ऑन इलिवेशन ऑफ बॉइलिंग पॉइंट लास्ट क्लास आई हैव डिस्कस्ड इलिवेशन ऑफ बॉइलिंग पॉइंट नाउ बेस्ड ऑन द इलिवेशन ऑफ बॉइलिंग पॉइंट I will discuss few numericals. Question I will read, then I I will solve the problem. Eighteen gram of glucose, C six H twelve O six, is dissolved in one kg of water in a, a saucepan. At what temperature will water boil? At one point zero one three bar, and uh, Kb for water is zero point five two k kg per mole. This is the question. Again, I am reading reading the question once again. Eighteen uh, gram of glucose. Its formula is given C six H twelve O six. is dissolved in 1 kg of water in a saucepan at what temperature will water boil at 1.013 bar kb for water is 0.52 k kg per mole means kelvin kg per mole this is a question it's a solution is very easy nothing new just uh, you put values in the formula and uh, you will get the answer okay that formula uh, you know it will simple formula first to keep in mind that delta delta tb is is a proportional to m this is very easy formula and common everywhere this proportionality sign is there in all elevation point in all uh, this things uh, qualitative properties same type of formula is there if you will remember this shortcut formula delta t delta tv is proportional to m in case of elevation point other also all are related to proportional proportional sign and see if you remember this formula then after that you can think over m is the molarity and molality m is molality and molality you know that number of number of moles of solute per kg correct and again moles when you are knowing m is equal to molality and molality formula you are knowing then here uh, number of moles per liter a per kg then now after that you know how to calculate the m molality number uh, number of moles per kg then number of moles you know how to calculate Mo molecular this things uh, mass divided by molecular mass correct uh, then like this way you can uh, correlate and uh, you can use the formula in several way okay all are related then only one thing if you will remember then other things you can know number of moles very easily we calculate mass divided by molecular mass then you will get m value m value put in the formula correct and also if you want to transfer it into the equality then uh, proportionality sign you have to write then here it is the here formula is proportionality constant is kb and kb value is a constant its value every every numericals in every numericals its value will be given correct then finally formula uh, you can say already you know that delta t is equal to means delta tv boiling elevation of boiling point is equal to kb into 1000 into uh, w2 means solute 
divided by m2 means molecular mass of solute into w1 that is the uh, weight of solvent this is the formula main formula after that by cross multiplication you can get molecular weight formula also means in the place of uh, uh, you can say delta t you can bring it m and delta t you bring in the place of m simple way then these two formula delta t and uh, delta t is equal to kv into 1000 into w2 divided by m2 into w1 m2 molecular mass w weight of solvent if this formula you are knowing then quickly m molecular mass formula also you can know that is the m2 is equal to molecular mass of solute m2 that is equal to 1000 into w2 into kv same things upside same things only down in the place of m2 delta t came okay into weight of solvent then now in this question uh, you have to calculate kv uh, kv for water is given you have to calculate uh, this things at, at what temperature will water uh, boil at 1.013 bar okay temperature boiling temperature is asking at what temperature will water boil okay water temperature means boiling point you have to find out elevation in boiling point first boiling point you just calculate and delta t directly you can calculate after that boiling point automatically you will calculate okay and uh, this, this is the 18 gram glucose 18 gram glucose the glucose is solute and its weight is given 18 gram then mole of glucose easily you can calculate calculate 18 gram divided by molecular mass of glucose then molecular mass of glucose that is a C6H12O6. Easily you can calculate. That is a 12 into 6 plus 12 into 1. 12 hydrogen is there. Plus 6 into 16. O6 is there. It will come. It will, it will come 180. 180. Then moles of glucose. That is equal to 18 divided by 180. Means 0.1 mole. 18 divided by 180 means 1 upon 10. 1 upon 10 means 0.1 mole. Then number of mole you are knowing. And uh, solvent. Solvent already it is given in 1 kg. 1 kg is given. Then now uh, it became very easy. Number of kilogram of solvent is 1 kg. Then uh, molality of glucose molality of glucose what will be the molality of glucose a small m because delta t delta tv is equal to m and, uh, proportional to m means delta t is equal to is equal to kv into m a small m molality that's why you want to calculate m then now already you have calculated 0.1 mole per kg Okay, 0 0.1 divided by 1, that is the 0 0.1 only. Then molality you are knowing, a small m value you are knowing. Then delta Tb, delta Tb, that is equal to, that is equal to kV in, into a small m. Then a small m value you are knowing and the kV value is given, 0 0.52. Then you will get the, you will get delta T value. Okay, delta T value you will get. Then now uh, boiling point. Question is asked to calculate boiling point. Uh, then boiling pure boiling uh, pure boiling point of water is you know that is uh, 100 degree centigrade at atmospheric pressure. Then atmospheric pressure indirect way, way they have given 1.013 bar. This is actually uh, uh, this atmospheric pressure okay 
here you will not use but there you know that vapor when vapor vapor pressure temperature at which vapor pressure becomes equal to atmospheric pressure that temperature is called boiling point then here uh, you have to calculate uh, boiling point of the solution then for the pure water 100 degree centigrade is the boiling point then now you have calculated delta t uh, delta t you will calculate very easily and delta t v that is equal to 0.52 into 0.1 into 0.1 that is the molality then after that you will get the value after multiplying this means 0.52 into 0.1 it will come 0.052 kelvin 0.052 kelvin a very easy calculation 0.52 into 0.1 means 1 upon 10 then you will get 0.052 kelvin then now delta t value are knowing the delta t value are knowing means what uh, it is the difference of it is the difference between that uh, uh, this things uh, delta t in difference between the two uh, for the pure solvent 100 degree 100 degree centigrade is the boiling point and after adding uh, uh, glucose its boiling point increased increased correct suppose plus t then 100 plus t a small t that is equal to that is equal to boiling point of solution then here that uh, this value 100 degree plus t plus t that value you want to calculate then this this you got uh, delta t value you have to add you have to add then what you will get what you will get in kelvin actually you should answer in kelvin then 100 degree is the boiling point of water that you know <clears throat> then 100 degree now you can tell it in the term of kelvin then 273 plus t boiling point then 273 plus 100 degree then 373 is the boiling point in kelvin for pure water then now in this boiling point of water this temperature you have to add you have to add means delta t value you have to add that is uh, that is in kelvin then uh, 373 plus plus 0.052 plus 0.052 then now we will get 373.202 kelvin 373.202 kelvin very easy question whatever temperature increased add in the boiling point of pure water pure water then in pure water boiling point is a 100 degree centigrade means 273 plus t 373 kelvin in that you add the delta t value you will get the boiling point of the solution now another question i am telling you questions questions are easy to solve because concept you are knowing concept you are knowing formula you are knowing then what is the problem no problem even the difficult question also you can solve now another question i am reading you then i will tell the answer i will solve the problem the boiling point of benzene is a 353.23 kelvin the boiling point of benzene is 353.23 kelvin when 1.80 g of non volatile solute was dissolved in 90 g of benzene the boiling point is raised to 354.11 kelvin 
calculate the molar mass of the solute calculate the molar mass of the solute kv for benzene is 2.53 k kg per mole kelvin kg per mole this is the question this is again easy question only you have to understand the question then uh, you can easily solve see the boiling point of benzene is given it is a solvent actually boiling point of of uh, boiling point of benzene means it is pure solvent pure solvent 353.23 kelvin it is given in this benzene actually when 1.80 of uh, non volatile solute was dissolved in 90 g of benzene means in benzene mean benzene solvent 90 g they have taken okay and in that 1.80 g of non volatile solute was added not become solution then after boiling Uh, the boiling point is raised boiling point is raised up to 354.11 kg raised to 354 then boiling point of benzene uh, pure be, pure benzene its boiling point was 353 353.23 kelvin now after after adding uh, this 1.8 g of non volatile solute in a 90 g of benzene means solvent solvent weight is given 90 g and solute weight is given 1.80 then after adding its a temperature boiling point raised to 354 means from 353.23 now temperature went to 354.11 kelvin then you have to calculate calculate the molar mass of the solute m2 you have to calculate molecular mass of solute and kv value for benzene is given 2.53 k kg per mole and then what is the problem simple uh, you have to put the value in formula then uh, uh, that m2 you want to calculate delta t what is the formula that you remember and uh, m2 is in the down denominator then just if you make it cross uh, then same formula is there in the place of delta t m2 will come in the place of m2 m, m2 delta t will go then after putting all all value means uh, kv kv value you have put 2.53 kelvin kg per mole and uh, solute weight you have put W two up uh, means numerator you have put one point eight into one thousand, correct? Down is the down is the delta T value. Then the difference between this three fifty three point two three and three fifty four point one one difference is zero point eight eight Kelvin. Means elevation of boiling point total total temperature minus pure pure benzene temperature that difference delta t value is 0.88 kelvin you will get it by did by deducting 354.11 minus 353.23 you will get 0.88 kelvin okay then and uh, down you will, down again you have to write weight of solvent w1 weight of solvent that is the 90 g then after solving it after solving it you will get 58 g then 58 g is the molecular mass 58 g per mole means now solute solute molecular weight is 58 g per mole see very easily we have calculated you have not done anything only you have put the value in the formula then molar mass of the solute m2 is equal to 58 g per mole okay then uh, <coughs> this uh, i have calculated the distinct two numericals i have discussed now <coughs> i am going to discuss 
नेक्स्ट टू प्रॉपर्टीज कॉलिगेटिव प्रॉपर्टीज रिमेनिंग दैट आई विल डिस्कस टूडे ओके नाउ आई एम गोइंग टू डिस्कस दैट इज द डिप्रेशन ऑफ फ्रीजिंग पॉइंट डिप्रेशन ऑफ फ्रीजिंग पॉइंट एक्चुअली वॉट इज दिस यू शुड अंडरस्टैंड जस्ट लाइक यू नो दैट वैपर प्रेशर वैपर प्रेशर ऑफ द एनी सोल्यूशन वेन इट बी द टेम्परेचर एट विच वैपर प्रेशर बिकम्स इक्वल टू एटमोस्फेरिक प्रेशर दैट टाइम इट इज कॉल्ड बॉइलिंग पॉइंट ऑफ दैट सॉल्वेंट यू कैन टेल सोल्यूशन हेयर इज द सोल्यूशन देन सेम टाइप ऑफ दिस वैपर प्रेशर इज बिकमिंग टू एटमोस्फेरिक प्रेशर द टेम्परेचर एट विच वैपर प्रेशर बिकम्स इक्वल टू एटमोस्फेरिक प्रेशर देन दैट टेम्परेचर इज कॉल्ड बॉइलिंग पॉइंट देन हेयर सेम थिंग इज देयर बट हेयर इट इज इट विल और इट इज रिलेटेड टू यू कैन से फ्रीजिंग पॉइंट द टेम्परेचर एट विच द वैपर प्रेशर ऑफ सब्सटांस इन लिक्विड फेज इज इक्वल टू द वैपर प्रेशर इन द सॉलिड फेज हेयर एटमोस्फेरिक फेज इज नॉट देयर इन द प्लेस ऑफ दैट लिक्विड एंड सॉलिड फेज इज देयर टू फेज विल बी देयर नियर द फ्रीजिंग पॉइंट नियर द फ्रीजिंग पॉइंट ओनली टू थिंग्स विल बी देयर सॉलिड एंड लिक्विड एक्चुअली इक्लिब्रियम दे विल मेंटेन लिक्विड विल कन्वर्ट टू सॉलिड सॉलिड विल कन्वर्ट टू लिक्विड बोथ बी इन इक्लिब्रियम देन हेयर वेन एवर यू आर टॉकिंग अबाउट द फ्रीजिंग देन यू शुड अंडरस्टैंड टू फेजेज टू फेजेज लिक्विड फेज सॉलिड फेज लिक्विड विल कन्वर्ट टू सॉलिड मीन्स आइस आइस में कन्वर्ट टू लिक्विड वाटर लाइक दैट ऑलवेज इफ यू टच द आइस यू विल फाइंड सम लिक्विड्स आर देयर देन दैट सिचुएसन यू हैव टू अंडरस्टैंड मीन्स दिस वाटर इज कन्वर्टिंग टू वाटर इज कन्वर्टिंग टू सॉलिड एंड सॉलिड इज कन्वर्टिंग टू लिक्विड देन दैट सिचुएसन है टू फेजेज आर देयर नाउ यू कैन अंडरस्टैंड वेरी वेल द टेम्परेचर एट विच द वैपर प्रेशर ऑफ द सब्सटांस इन द लिक्विड फेज इज इक्वल टू द वैपर प्रेशर इन द सॉलिड फेज ओके मीन्स आई सॉलिड फेज मीन्स आइस एंड सब्सटांस इन द लिक्विड वेन इट इज अ लिक्विड फॉर्म दैट टाइम सॉलिड विल बी ऑल्सो देयर सम सॉलिड सॉल्यू टू हैव एडेड करेक्ट देन हे आर सम सॉलिड लाइक एन एस सी एल इज सपोज इन अ वाटर यू हैव एडेड लिटिल एन एस सी एल एन एस सी एल सॉल एन एस सी एल सॉलिड एंड नाउ यू आर कूलिंग नाउ यू आर कूलिंग देन इन दैट सोल्यूशन टू थिंग्स आर देयर सॉल्वेंट प्लस सॉल्यूट एंड नाउ दैट सोल्यूशन इज कन्वर्टिंग इन टू सॉलिड देन वेन इट इज इन अ लिक्विड फॉर्म then that solute solute is there solute is there and uh, a, this uh, liquid is converting into solid but here when it is the liquid form equilibrium is there then in that liquid form li, uh, liquid phase solute is also there solute is also there then uh, that the temperature at which vapor pressure of the substance in liquid both vapor pressure are there vapor pressure of the substance in liquid and vapor pressure of solid vapor pressure of solid okay that the temperature at which the vapor pressure of the substance in its liquid phase is equal to the vapor pressure in solid phase correct both phase i you have to consider cause that solution is only converting into the solid ice correct in that salt is there that you have to understand 
then vapor phase will be in both both condition wet in when it is in solid state that time also vapor pressure will be there and when it is a liquid form that time also vapor is there then the temperature at which two vapor pressure becomes equal that temperature is called freezing point okay this is the only important things because uh, solution is there now solution you are cooling then cooling is different thing that time it is not converting to solid but when it began to convert to solid means equilibrium position that time temperature that temperature okay that temperature when it the temperature at which liquids convert to solid means in the case of water ice that temperature is called freezing point but here solution is there not pure not pure water some solution is there solvent a solute is there that's why this time eh, due to this solute due to this solute present in the water there will be depression in or decrease depression means decrease in uh, freezing point due to this solute then here that when a vapor pressure of solute in liquid vapor pressure of solute in liquid or solid in liquid becomes equal to it becomes equal to vapor pressure in solid phase vapor pressure in solid phase that temperature is called freezing point okay then this you have understood what is the freezing point and simple way you know that temperature at which liquid solidifies that temperature is called a freezing point it freezes that temperature but here solute plays a role the now depression means decrease in freezing point suppose it was freezing at pure water freezes at 0 degree centigrade that you know then due to this solute like nacl is present in water in a liquid then that situation what will happen now its freezing point will decrease it will go down below 0 degree below 0 degree that is called depression in freezing point depression in freezing point decrease in freezing point this this uh, by diagram also you can so that is just like elevation in boiling point here depression in boiling point uh, diagram is there that is the vapor pressure versus temperature vapor pressure versus versus temperature then here again you can say two line will be there parallel line one will be for liquid solution a uh, liquid solvent and uh, other will be solution liquid solvent you know that in, in a solution both will solvent plus solute both will be there then mixture is called solution then solvent two line you can draw one line upside that is for a uh, liquid pure liquid pure liquid means solvent solvent for for solvent one line and down you can write solution then you know that uh, vapor pressure of solution will be less that you know why you are uh, solution you are writing down uh, this is the only reason because by, by excess vap vapor pressure and down axis is temperature means uh, if temperature is if temperature is you can say uh, this thing first you understand why you are writing down then down solution you are writing down because its vapor pressure will be less and solvent you are writing up because its pure uh, solvent vapor pressure will be more that's why uh, vapor phase uh, that is a uh, this vapor is more for solvent that's why your vapor that line is a solvent line you are writing up and solution line 
parallel just roughly parallel will be down now we come to the another point that uh, temperature temperature here what will happen that uh, this uh, uh, solution will be at high temperature that you know you are uh, cooling now suppose at normal temperature 25 degree you have mixed solution plus the solvent plus solute it becomes solution then now we are cooling the slowly and slowly then obviously solution will have a more temperature solution will have more temperature correct then now that uh, when temperature is less and when temperature is more then uh, if you can say that suppose you have not added solution uh, solute pure solvent if it is a pure solvent if it is a pure solvent then it will freeze at 0 degree 0 degree 0 degree okay and uh, when it is a solution then experimentally it is observed that uh, now it is going uh, this things uh, it is uh, temperature will be less temperature will be less okay then here that uh, this two temperature that uh, this two temperature means uh, higher temperature means zero degree now you can tell it is higher zero degree higher minus is lower zero uh, suppose zero degree and minus two degree then zero degree is higher than minus two degree then like that way you have to understand suppose uh, t0 t0 t10 you can tell t10 be the freezing point of pure solvent t10 then pure solvent will uh, freeze at higher temperature means 0 degree and uh, this solution will freeze at lower temperature less than 0 degree then that you consider as a t1 degree only t1 and t1 0 subscript 0 that is for pure always 0 means a standard or pure then suppose t1 be the freezing point freezing point when a non volatile solute is dissolved in it means solution you can tell then difference between the two higher minus lower means uh, t1 0 minus minus t1 minus t1 okay then that minus uh, then this difference that is a delta t f delta t f f means freezing a small f you can write delta t down a small f you can write f means freezing then delta t f is equal to t1 t1 0 minus t1 is known as depression in freezing point then this i have told you then in diagram uh, obviously after seeing you will understand that uh, solvent solvent vapor pressure liquid solvent vapor pressure is more if you will see that is in y axis uh, you will that is the vapor pressure then uh, vapor pressure will be more and down is the solution vapor pressure then uh, what will happen that because vapor pressure for the solvent for the solvent is more is more okay and uh, then that because solvent vapor pressure is more then it will take more it will take uh, more temperature more temperature because vapor vapor pressure is more uh, you are cooling you are cooling actually uh, boiling time you have seen uh, that uh, because you wanted to bring uh, vapor pressure equal to atmospheric pressure that's why you were heating heating that's why temperature was increasing then after heating more vapor was becoming and was becoming equal to atmospheric pressure but here cases is reverse here more vapor pressure is there more vapor pressure is there 
uh, for solvent in comparison to the solution then what will happen now you have to you are cooling then obviously it will it will uh, it will take more temperature to come down because vapor is there more vapor is there then vapor is converting into liquid liquid okay then more vapor is there that's why it will it you have to decrease more now you can tell uh, that it will take uh, uh, more temperature than solution in solution vapor is less in solution vapor vapor is less then uh, it will take it will take less temperature it will take less temperature okay and uh, this uh, solvent will take more temperature solvent will take high temperature or more temperature in comparison to solution because you are cooling correct it takes more temperature vapor is vapor will if will decrease if will decrease then vapor will, vapor will convert to liquid liquid then liquid will cool down cool down then it will convert to ice correct but uh, pure solvent and uh, solution solution that vapor uh, vapor is less then comparatively it will require it will require less temperature you are cooling you are cooling keep in mind you are cooling then for the more vapor it requires uh, because it was more temperature uh, you are cooling then it will require more temperature in comparison to solution that is a delta t10 that is a delta 10 correct more vapor was there in comparison to solution this is you only have to understand due to that uh, that uh, solvent is taking taking more temperature more temperature and solution is taking less temperature then this difference of temperature is called uh, depression in boiling point then in graph you will see if you will make uh, uh, this uh, uh, you can say vapor by two vapor one vapor pressure is for solution that vapor pressure is less and uh, solvent vapor pressure is more more correct then uh, if this if this two vapor pressure you will you will join by a line then due to that change in vapor pressure this depression in freezing point depression is freezing point is depression in freezing point is due to depression due to change in vapor pressure high vapor pressure minus low vapor pressure then it will be if you will join both point uh, for solvent vapor pressure point and uh, this uh, solution vapor pressure point it will just like a curve you will get then that curve actually it is it is telling about the frozen solvent solvent will freeze which will freeze solvent only will freeze solid will not free freeze okay then now uh, another things i am telling you main things i have discussed uh, let me complete uh, uh, that uh, just like elevation in boiling point uh, here also it is related to if a solution is dilute ob- always colligative re- property is, is related to uh, dilute solution if a di- if it is a dilute solution that is the ideal solution then this is directly proportional to the molality okay it is directly proportional to the molality just like elevation point same same formula only delta t b b mean boiling point you were writing here you write delta t f f means freeze point means delta t f is directly proportional to m just like boiling point delta t b was proportional to m here delta t f is proportional to m because if number of moles of solute will be more then freezing point then uh, this will be vapor pressure will be less 
vapor pressure will be less that depends upon the number of moles of solute correct more the solute less the vapor pressure of the solvent correct because it is a solid it will not go to go as a uh, vapor it will block the path of solvent correct the less vapor pressure will reach there this is the concept actually then now this is the same type of formula del delta tf is is directly proportional to m now again same concept make it equality by multiplying with some constant then here constant is known as kf there it was kb ebullioscopic constant now here is a kf kf this is a this is known as freezing point depression constant freezing point depression constant or molal depression constant molal lal or it is called as a molal depression constant or third name is also there cryoscopic cryoscopic constant question is asked what is a cryoscopic constant then this kf for each for each you can say uh, this thing sir uh, for each uh, solution or uh, solvent you can say for each solvent uh, that it is a fixed value kf value is fixed okay then it has three name first is the freezing point uh, freezing point depression constant and uh, second is molal molal depression constant and third is cryoscopic constant okay and kf value you remember kf uh, depends on the nature of the solvent kf value depends on the nature of solvent which is not depending on the nature of solvent colligative properties colligative properties is different k value is different kv k value is different it depends upon the nature of solvent nature of solvent that's why kv also have different different value for different solvent this kf also have different values for different solvent okay here uh, one things i want to i want to tell you actually means here now new relation just like elevation point eh, you got the relation delta t is equal to kf into m kf into m again same things you have to put the value of m a small m same way number of moles per kg number of moles per kg is the m and m is equal to molality how will calculate then more more this uh, mole how will you calculate then uh, number of moles divided by molecular mass then here same things same relation you will get a small m is equal to w2 divided by m2 capital m2 that is the number of moles correct and uh, here that again uh, per kg solvent uh, means this solute will be dissolved in dissolved in uh, should be you should dissolve in 1 kg 1 kg but it is not necessary that always you will take 1 kg you can take half kg also half kg also 250 g also then divided by 1000 divided by 1000 w1 divided by 1000 suppose is 90 g the 90 divided by 1000 obviously 1000 will go up just like just like delta t with 1000 was up here also it will go up then this m value you put in the formula delta tf is equal to kf into m there m value you put then same formula i will get same formula only difference is of delta tv and delta delta tv in case of elevation of boiling point here you will get delta tf same formula means delta tf is equal to kf there you are writing kv here you are writing kf kf into w2 into 1000 divided by m2 into w1 same formula this is the equal to delta t then if you want to know molarity uh, uh, this um, uh, m2 molecular mass if you want to know the same formula 
सेम फॉर्मूला है अगेन इन द प्लेस ऑफ डेल्टा टी एफ एम टू विल कम एंड इन द प्लेस ऑफ एम टू डेल्टा टी एफ विल गो आफ्टर क्रॉस मल्टीप्लीकेशन सेम थिंग विल गेट देन नाउ दिस टू डेल्टा टी फॉर्मूला एंड मोल दिस मोलकुलर वेट फॉर्मूला यू गॉट एम टू दिस टू फॉर्मूला इज सेम ओनली टर्मिनोलॉजी डिफरेंट दे आर डेल्टा टी वी हे आर डेल्टा टी एफ दे आर डेल्टा के वी दे आर के वी हे आर राइटिंग के एफ फॉर्मूला इज सेम देन दिस टू इक्वेशन आर वेरी वेरी यूजफुल ओके फॉर डिटरमाइनिंग मोलर मास ऑफ द सॉल्यूट मीन्स एनी थिंग्स बट हेयर जनरली के एफ वैल्यू विल गिव डब्लू वन डब्लू वन वेट ऑफ सॉलवेंट दे विल गिव इन क्वेश्चन जनरली मोलकुलर वेट दे आर आस्किंग मोलकुलर वेट ऑफ सॉल्यूट वेट ऑफ सॉल्यूट दे विल गिव एंड इजिली यू कैन कैलकुलेट नाउ वन थिंग आई वॉन्ट टू टेल यू वेरी कंसेप्चुअल डिप्रेशन इन फेजिंग पॉइंट वाई इट इज गोइंग डाउन प्योर सॉलवेंट फ्रीजेज अर्ली एंड इफ सॉल्यूट प्रजेंट इट देन इट टेक्स मोर टाइम टू फ्रीज मीन्स नाउ यू हैव टू कूल मोर यू हैव टू कूल मोर देन इट विल फ्रीज वॉट इट्स रीजन दिस इज एक्चुअली एडवांस लेवल एडवांस लेवल दिस नॉलेज आई एम टॉकिंग अबाउट आई एम टेलिंग अबाउट वाई देन हेयर वॉट एपेंस दैट सॉल्यूट सॉल्यूट इज प्लेइंग रोल हेयर सॉल्यूट मोनो मोलोकुल्स लाइक एन ए सी एल के सी एल है ना एनी मैग्नेशियम क्लोराइड स्टोनशियम एनी थिंग्स एनी सॉल्ट इज देयर देन वाट यू विल एपेन मेनी मेनी यू कैन से आयंस विल बी देयर एन ए सी एल ओनली वन एन ए वन सी एल विल नॉट देयर मेनी एन ए विल बी देयर मेनी सी एल विल सी एल विल बी देयर और इफ शुगर इज देयर ग्लूकोज फ्रुक्टोज एनी थिंग्स देन मेनी मोलोकुल्स ऑफ शुगर्स विल बी देयर मोल इज ए बिग यूनिट इन वन यू नो दैट मोल कंसेप्ट वन मोल इज कल टू एवो गैड्रो नंबर सिक्स पॉइंट जीरो टू टू इंट टेन टू द पावर ट्वेंटी थ्री पार्टिकल्स दैट इज ए बिग नंबर देन हेयर दिज नंबर दिज नंबर और दे कैन से मोलोकुल्स मोलोकुल्स यू नो दैट इट विल बी नॉट एस्टेटिक इट विल बी ऑलवेज यू कैन से इट विल बी इन मोशन ऑलवेज इट विल बी इन मोशन देन नाउ वेन दिस मोलकुल्स आर प्रजेंट इन मोर वाटर देन फ्रीली इट इज मूविंग फ्रीली इट इज मूविंग हेयर एंड देयर इफ सॉलवेंट इज मोर एंड सॉल्यूट इज लेस देन दे गेट मोर चांस टू टू मूव हेयर एंड देयर नाउ जस्ट लाइक यू कैन से इन एक्वेरियम फीसेज आर देयर इन सपोज यू आर इन योर हाउस यू मैट एफ इन एक्वेरियम इन एक्वेरियम टेन फिफ्टीन एटलीस्ट सपोज सिक्स सेवन फीसेज यू आर कीपिंग मीडियम साइज एक्वेरियम इज देयर एंड वेन यू आर चेंजिंग द वाटर वाटर दैन वेन इट इज फुल देन दे विल मूव फ्रीली हेयर एंड देर देयर मोर वाटर इज देयर मोर प्लेस इज देयर इट कैन मूव बट इफ यू वेन यू आर चेंजिंग द वाटर you are removing the water slowly and slowly then now you can see as the water will decrease fishes will fishes will get less less space less space to move because water is becoming less and less less and less lesser and then actually you are not removing all the water you know you will keep some water at least minimum water you will keep so that uh, fish should uh, only that fish should be there they can move correct but now you can see all fishes are coming in that space only correct same situation is there now fishes are feeling problem facing problem in moving here and there less space less water is there then now they can't move freely then same situation is for here uh, molecules molecules because water is freezing solvent is freezing then uh, near the freezing point very very less water will be there 
then molecules will be only that there then here fishes are moving here you are telling that vibration is there movement is becoming less and less and less then because you want to convert it in the solid that that particles also you bring which are far now molecules are far now you now you want to bring it very close very close very close then what will happen you have to cool more you have to their kinetic energy you have to make it less you have to bring less they all should come close all particles should come close then you have to decrease the temperature means kinetic energy is becoming less then when the it will become very close very close then it will touch to the solid it will behave like a it will be have like a solid that's why to bring these solids close close extra you have removed extra temperature you have cooled more you have pulled more correct but in pure water these things are not there hence you have to not cool what you have cooled now now you have not cool up to that level you have to cool but only up to 0 degree in that it is converting but this extra things now you have understood what is the depression in freezing point why it is taking you have to you are cooling more correct now, now uh, i have discussed these things and two relations are there that also you should know uh, because always you are telling about kv and uh, Uh, this things uh, kv and kf kv and kf you are using then this kv and kf how they are depending on what values kf and kf or kv depends correct for that formula is there separate formula for kf and kv what is that formula that uh, direct formula i am telling derivation is also there higher classes but now we have to not uh, no derivation at right place when i will discuss uh, higher classes bsc that time i will derive also okay now for engineering and medical for this derivation is not required and uh, here formula you should know because sometimes uh, numerical is asked on that formula also then what is that formula then kf actually both formula is again similar similar then kf means a depre- this a, a kf value that constant value depression freezing point depression depression constant na, that uh, we are telling that uh, this uh, this uh, kf kf value uh, that is equal to r gas constant r into m1 r into m1 actually k is related this k f and k v value depends upon depends on solvent solvent okay solvent all things are related to solve all elevation in boiling point and, and depression in freezing point lowering of vapor pressure osmotic pressure all are related to solvent solvent solution term here just you are using for solute for solute you are adding to solvent a solute you are adding the solvent then it is becoming solution only for that purpose because you have added solute you are using the term solution but here main role is of solvent solvent in solution and pure don't confuse many student will be getting confused in solvent one may be pure solvent other will be solvent in solution solvent in solution because solute plus solvent is equal to solution okay don't forget then here again i am telling you here kf value is equal to capital r means gas constant into m1 molecular mass of solvent because different different solvents are there then molecular mass will be different benzene is different water is different chloroform is different 
the story is different then m1 r into m1 into into tf t square actually t square but here tf square tf square means freezing point freezing point a square divided by actually you have to tell uh, you can say uh, per kg you have to tell per kg then down will be thousand thousand into into delta h of fusion heat of heat of fusion heat of fusion this term is already you know the fusion time heat uh, evolved heat change during fusion of one mole one mole of the given substance then okay delta h of fusion delta h of fusion this is the only new term here in this formula all term you are knowing then r in capital r into m1 into t f square means t square you can consider because the freezing you can use the term f and for the boiling you can use the term b t b t f like that then r into capital r means gas constant universal gas constant into m1 into t t f square divided by 1000 into delta h of fusion fusion delta h delta delta h of fusion or delta fusion h you can write delta h you write eh? of fusion same way same way for kb you can write same formula r into m1 into tb square here you can write there tf square you are writing freezing here boiling tb square divided by 1000 into here you should write vaporization b boiling boiling is related is related to vaporization evaporation or vaporization and here delta h of vaporization in case of kb and in case of f here all molecules are coming close close fusion fusing correct then that's why you are using here fusion then kf fusion term and kh evaporation term you are using delta h delta h in both cases same formula is there only difference is for f and b kf and kb and temperature tf and tv that's enough then now i have discussed about the uh, this thing depression depression of a freezing point okay now uh, one more called properties is there colligative properties colligative properties then uh, this uh, osmotic pressure under the colligative properties uh, fourth one is osmotic osmo osmosis and osmotic pressure osmosis and osmotic pressure then here i will uh, tell you what is the osmosis and what is the osmotic pressure okay it is a very very important term many questions are asked in all examination all uh, medical engineering advanced upsc also these questions are asked okay then this is a general general examination also osmosis and medical many times i have seen the this question okay then now it is very conceptual you will understand very clearly osmosis means now many things you are drawing as you quickly you will understand osmosis means by uh, by example you can understand you have taken pure solvent suppose uh, in a chamber you have one chamber is there and that uh, partition is there one one side uh, solvent is there other side uh, other side uh, solution is there and in the middle that semi permeable membrane is there okay separation and only in one chamber partition is there one side pure water is there pure solvent any other solvent also you can take but here water you take as example one side pure water other side solution you have taken solution maybe nacl solution means uh, water plus nacl you have added or any other salt also mixture of salt is there suppose 
in that it is mixed in that solution other salt is also present okay maybe 1 2 3 uh, many also may be there more than 3 4 5 also then what will happen it is a common thing say uh, you will see that water will move water will move from solvent pure solvent side pure solvent side to solution side okay through this semi permeable membrane in this semi permeable membrane is a big role here a small a small hole will be there a small a small hole orifice it is called orifice small a small hole it will allow so a small that it will allow only water molecule not the solid particles means salt can't pass through this only water can pass water molecules h2o solvent only solvent other solvent also it can pass but not the solute you know that in solution salts we are salts are many salts may be dissolved then that will not pass the generally only it will allow uh, for water molecules to pass through it and uh, then from the you can say from the pure solvent side eh, solvent will come to the solution side then up to up to what time it will come then it will come until vapor pressure of both side becomes equal you know that the, this vapor pressure so pure solvent has more vapor pressure and solution has less vapor pressure correct that you know then now uh, slowly and slowly that solvent solvent vapor pressure will decrease as the water will come towards solution then when uh, here uh, solution side it uh, this side vapor pressure will decrease correct and when both side pressure becomes equal then it will stop then you know that uh, this side it is decreasing vapor pressure decrease is decreasing uh, solvent side and as the water is going solution side then their solvent quantity is increasing solvent uh, quantity is increasing then now it is becoming more solvent molecules in that solution more solvent molecules in that solution then there again vapor pressure will increase then when both vapor pressure will increase it will become equal or becomes equal then it will stop then it will stop correct then this is pro this process is called osmosis this process is called osmosis this is a natural tendency to pass from solvent to solution side okay this is the uh, main things osmosis and one term i told you osmotic pressure what is osmotic pressure then now i told you pure solvent has a more vapor pressure solution has less vapor pressure in two chamber you have seen in the middle semi permeable membrane is there it is separating two solution a vapor a solvent and solution it is separating then both have different vapor pressure solvent more solution side less then how, what is the difference what is the difference suppose solvent side 1000 bar is there just simple example and and solution side less maybe 600 then 1000 minus 600 there is the 400 then this 400 is called a osmotic pressure osmotic pressure due to this difference only what uh, solvent is coming towards solution then now this is called osmotic pressure then now this concept i think it is clear now i will uh, tell some uh, distance i will go little details okay and then uh, now we will understand uh, very easily actually there are uh, many phenomena which we observe in nature or at home for example raw raw mangoes 
raw mangoes shrived when picked in brine brine means salt water okay this uh, raw mangoes shrived when pickle when uh, this thing uh, this thing pickled you are making in house pickle na uh, that pickled in brine first example flowers flowers uh, revive when placed in fresh water means dry flowers also become fresh uh, become uh, is a distance uh, drying flower you can revive when placed in fresh water third example blood cells blood cells collapse when uh, you can say suspended in saline water saline water means salty water it will collapse blood cell will collapse when it is surrounded by a saline water these three examples i am telling you if we look into this you can say process find one things common in that all all these substances are bound by membrane bound by membrane blood also and uh, this mangoes also flowers also membrane is there okay this is this is the main role these membranes can be can be of uh, animal also vegetable origin also and these occur natural and these occur naturally uh, such as uh, you can say pigs uh, pigs bladder pigs bladder or uh, punchment uh, this can be also the also it can be synthetic things also can be there such as uh, cellophane c e l l o cellophane p h a n e cellophane is synthetic membrane then these membrane appears uh, that uh, these, these membrane what is the you can say uh, characteristics of uh, membrane i am telling you these membranes uh, appears to be continuous sheets just like in the sheet form or films yet they contain a you can say network of uh, sub microscopic holes very very small holes or pores a, a small solvents a small solvent can pass okay can as my this a small uh, the solvent molecules uh, like water can pass through these holes but the passage of bigger molecules like uh, solid is hindered means it will it will stop it will not pass then mem- membranes having this kind of uh, properties are known as semi permeable membrane spm semi permeable membrane assume that only a solvent molecules can pass uh, through this semi permeable membrane if this membrane is placed between the solvent and solution the solvent molecules will flow through the membrane from pure solvent to solution this process this process of flow of the solvent is called osmosis this process of movement of the solvent is called osmosis question is asked the flow will continue till the till the equilibrium is attained the flow of the solvent from the side of side from the you can say side solvent side the flow will continue till the equilibrium is attained means that time uh, this will be vapor pressure will be equal the flow of the solvent from the from its side to solvent side across a semi permeable membrane can we stopped how will you stop if some extra pressure is applied on the solution because solution side less pressure is there vapor pressure hence extra pressure you have to if you will apply then this movement 
can be stopped. Then this extra pressure, this pressure that just stops the flow of solvent is called osmotic pressure of the solution. Correct? Means that difference only. Difference of vapor pressure, solvent and solution. That is, that is actually that pressure more than that you have to apply. Only when it will equal, it will stop. It will stop. This is important things. Then this is actually, this is called osmotic pressure. Okay. This pressure that just stops the flow of solvent is called osmotic, osmotic pressure of the solution. The flow of solvent from dilute solution the flow of the flow of solvent from dilute solution to the concentrated solution across a semi permeable membrane is due to osmosis this also you should know student will get confused when it is asked from which side this movement will be there from concentrated one is dilute other is concentrated uh, and the middle semi permeable membrane is there, then how it will pass? From which side uh, flow will be there? Then from dilute solution side, because dilute solution side solvent will be more, solute will be less, and their pressure will be more. That is why from dilute side it will go to the, from dilute solution it will go to the concentrated. Do not forget, many students will get confused in this. Uh, in, in term by concentration wise then di from dilute to from dilute solution to concentrated solution okay this is a very very important point uh, this uh, the important point to be kept in mind is that solvent molecules always from always flow from lower concentration lower concentration to higher concentration of solution the osmotic pressure has been found to depend on the concentration of solution concentration of solution okay that is the again uh, you are coming about the uh, this thing concentration of solution in was molecule concentration how many salt solute is present how many moles are there same type of concept how many moles are present on that it depends solute quantity or that's why it is called depends on the concentration of the osmotic pressure. This uh, uh, I told you that uh, osmotic pressure uh, depends on the concentration of the solution. The osmotic pressure of a solution is the excess pressure that must be applied to a solution to prevent to prevent osmosis. That is to stop the passage of solvent molecules through a semi permeable membrane into the solution this is this already by this uh, diagram also you can understand i will try to send the diagram okay osmotic pressure is a colligative property as it depends on the number of solute molecules and not on their identity or nature. Colligative properties I am telling depends does not depend on the nature. Colligative properties okay KV and KF they depend do not confuse. Then it has been found experimentally that osmotic pressure or uh, this, uh, if this osmotic pressure uh, experimentally it is found that osmotic pressure is proportional to the molarity molarity capital M not a small m okay capital M molarity R I T Y that too was depending on molality elevation in boiling point and depression in freezing point molality this is the molarity okay molarity C you can tell of the solution at a given temperature T at a given temperature T then uh, you can write that uh, osmotic pressure is equal to CRT, C is the concentration, R is the universal gas constant, T is the temperature and vapor pressure, uh, osmotic pressure is denoted by just like a pi, pi, okay, 
then pi is equal to CRT, capital C, capital R, capital T. Then here C, you know, concentration. Concentration means what? Mole per liter. In a general way, mole per liter. That is the concentration. Now we can elaborate it. C, you are elaborating it as a C upon B. As C, you are a mole, C is equal to uh, mole per liter. And uh, mole is equal to mass divided by molecular mass. Correct? Then uh, now it can you can elaborate it. Then you, you can convert it into the uh, molecular term also, molecular mass, weight of solute. I know you can, you can convert it. Then the same way, after putting the uh, these things, uh, value of C, value of C, C is equal to n two upon B means solute, n solute divided by volume. Solute divided by volume. What is the in, in how much volume solute? How much solute is dissolved? Into divided by B, you can write in the place of C. Then now you can write B. You can bring you can bring into the pi with pi pi B is equal to n R T. Pi B is equal to n R T and n number of moles that is equal to weight divided by molecular weight means W two. Divided by m2. Then now you can see it took a form of formula. Pi v is equal to w2 divided by m2. That is actually mole, number of mole. Then now it took a form uh, just like a formula. Pi v is equal to w w2 divided by m2 and upside rt. Rt was there from the beginning. Then now if you want to know the molecular mass. M2 we want to calculate then cross multiplication you do means in the place of uh, M2 bring the pi by, pi b and M2 will go to the in the in the place of uh, pi b means uh, M2 is equal to W2 RT divided by pi b correct this is the formula of osmotic pressure similar type of formula is there then now I am stopping only here. And this chapter is very close to finish. Next class, I think it will finish. I will tell the numericals, and little more is there. I think next class it should be finished. Thank you.